Blessings my family in Christ. Today I'm going to show you some incredible footage of Bishop Marmari exposing Islam, proving that the Jesus in the Bible is completely different to the Isa of the Quran. And then I'm going to show you from the Holy Bible evidence that the Isa, the Jesus in the Quran, is in fact the Antichrist spirit. You go to the Islamic faith, they will tell you two things or they will deny two things about Jesus Christ. Number one, he cannot be the son of God because that's a blasphemy. God cannot have a son, you are blaspheming. That's the Islamic faith, not me. And secondly, Jesus was never crucified, but it was shown to them as if it was Jesus. In fact, they say God put Judas Iscariot on the cross instead of Jesus. Judas Iscariot, Aha. Islam came in 635 AD. The Gospel of John was written around 100 AD. So 535 years came after the Gospel of John. John is an eyewitness, my dear Muhammad. John is an eyewitness. He lived with Jesus. He walked with Jesus. He saw Jesus wonders and miracles and he documented it fresh fresh so you're telling me that now I need to believe in someone coming six centuries or seven centuries after the Holy Bible was documented you want me to believe in a document that came seven centuries after the Holy Bible. You want me to believe in someone that never saw Jesus, never lived with Jesus, never walked with Jesus, over the one who walked, lived, ate, embraced Jesus Christ every single day for three years and four months. Where is the logic? The one who was with the Lord said, this is God. This is the Son of God. This is God Himself. He was crucified, he was buried, and I saw him risen after the burial. Muhammad came in 635 and he said, he is not the son of God, he is just a prophet. He was never crucified. In fact, Judas Iscariot was placed by God to deceive the Jews. Pale green. They come, they accept Jesus, but as a prophet only. They accept Jesus, not crucified. They accept Jesus, not as the Son of God. They accept Jesus, definitely not God. So what have you left with Jesus then? You take the cross away, you take the Son of God away from Him, and you take the divine from Him. He's a prophet. Prophet for what? Those who wrote the Holy Bible, both Old and New Testament, are over 40 writers. It took a time frame of about 1600 years to write the entire Holy Bible. 1600 years to write the entire Holy Bible. The entire authors, the entire writers, I should say, the entire writers, different level of education, different background, different times, different countries, all of them wrote the same thing. That Jesus Christ is the one and only. He is the Savior. He is the Messiah, meaning God. And He was crucified. And He's going to rise from the dead. And He, whoever accepts Him, shall be saved forever. And 12 apostles, they hugged Him every day. They walked with Him. They lived with Him. They documented everything that they saw. You want me to deny all this? And believe in someone that came six centuries later? Did you know the Quran was written 200 years after Muhammad? I'm not talking about, I'm not attacking, but I'm just quoting what they say. Um, by the way, in, their, in the Islamic book, 
His name is Asa. Asa in Arabic derives from the Greek word Isos, which is Jesus, which is Yeshua in Hebrew, which is Isha in Aramaic. So Asa in Arabic was, is taken from the Greek word Isos, Jesus, Yeshua. But that Isa in the Quran is not the Jesus of the Bible. They've got nothing to do with one another, please. Nothing to do with it. Totally different Jesus altogether. And Mary in the Quran, nothing to do with the Holy Mother of the Bible. Absolutely none. In fact, looks like they've got a historical, um, a time frame, uh, you know, a mistake. Because Mary in the Quran, is referred to as the sister of Aaron. Who's Aaron? The brother of Moses. They say she is the sister of Aaron. Ach, do you know the, tif the time difference between Aaron and Mary? 1500 to 1600 years. How can she be his sister? So they, they are two, they're talking about two different people here. So if somebody comes and says, like, we believe in, in, in Isa, but that Isa is not my Jesus. This person has got nothing to do with the Jesus of the Bible. Absolutely none. The Jesus in the Bible is the Son of God, is God. The Jesus in the Bible was crucified, and he is the Savior and the Redeemer of the world. Do you believe in this or not? Don't tell me he's a prophet. What prophet? What am I going to do with a prophet? A prophet can't help himself, let alone help me. But it's ironic, ironic, how they come back and they say that Isa went up to heaven alive and will come back alive. Muhammad is dead and rotted in the grave. Yet this one went up alive and when he comes back, he will judge the living and the dead. I just want to know, who is the judge of the living and the dead? Isn't it God? Would God give his job to a prophet? So is God now unemployed? I'm asking, is God unemployed? Who is the judge? They'll say God, but you just told me this prophet is gonna judge the living and the dead. Now, the other thing is, wouldn't you wanna follow someone who is living instead of someone who's dead? Looks like this guy's done much better at work. And if he's gonna judge the living and the dead, meaning like humanity, shouldn't I be nice to this one who's gonna judge me? In the Quran, it says about the Lord Jesus, according to their book, I speak Arabic, I write Arabic, I read Arabic. I'm educated in the Arabic language. What is Muhammad is saying in the Quran? He's saying, but Jesus or Isa, Jesus, but Jesus, son of Mary, is the word of God and a spirit of God. Now, I ask Muhammad, where did you get this from? But Jesus, son of Mary, is the word of God and a spirit of him. Oh, John, the fourth living creature, which is the flying eagle, the gospel of John. John chapter one, verse one, the very beginning of the gospel. In the beginning was the word. Look at what Muhammad is saying. Jesus, son of Mary, is the word of God. Okay, don't lose track of this. He is the word of God. John, six centuries prior to him, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. So what are you trying to say, Muhammad? Are you saying Jesus is God? That's what you're saying. You got it from the Gospel of John, not from Allah from the Gospel of John. Now we're going to get to the Gospel in a moment, the true Gospel that saves, the Christ who saves. But before we do, I'm going to show you that the Isa of the Quran is in fact the Antichrist spirit, and I'm going to prove that from the Holy Bible. In 1 John 2, 22, it states, Who is a liar, but he that denies that Jesus is the Christ? He is Antichrist, that denieth the Father 
and the Son. Now what does it say in the Quran? They say that Jesus Christ is not the Son, therefore they don't have the Father, therefore they have denied that he is the Christ. Muslims do not actually know what the Christ means, they do not use the same definition of Christ, of Messiah, as the Torah and the Gospels. Muhammad had no understanding of Holy Scripture, he was not in communion with the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit, but was being led by the Antichrist Spirit. And there is evidence of that right here, from the Holy Bible, from an eyewitness, John the Apostle. And sadly, Islamic scholars will lie to their followers and tell them that there was no eyewitnesses. When it says very clearly right here, in 1 John chapter 1 verse 1, that which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes. So these are eyewitnesses, which we have looked upon and our hands have handled of the word of life. The Apostle John is telling us here that he is an eyewitness. He not only saw Jesus Christ, but he touched him with his very own hands. He looked upon him, the word of life. This is the word who became flesh, dwelt amongst us. He died, his blood was shed for the remission of sin. He was buried and he rose on the third day. And if you believe in him, you shall not perish, but have everlasting life. For you are saved by grace through faith, and not of yourselves, not of works. It is the gift of God so that nobody can boast. So understand family, once you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you are sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, the Ruach HaKodesh, the set apart spirit. You are loved, you are in Christ's hand and nobody can snatch you. You are secure forever, you have everlasting life. Christ said, if you believe in me, you have everlasting life. Trust in him, his love is perfect, his love is pure. Anybody who comes and contradicts these words, the pure words of scripture, they are antichrist. I love you so much, my family in Christ, I truly do. The way that the Most High has brought this community together has allowed us in these last days to communicate via the internet. No matter where we are in the world, we can commune, we can fellowship. It's truly beautiful. Let me know in the comment section below, feedback on this video, I greatly appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up button, it supports the content and share this video with somebody who may appreciate it. I love you so much my family and I'll see you on the next one. Shalom, shalom.